Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? I hope that you're doing well. Today, I want to talk to you about this energy as we're in this Mercury retrograde, although that's not really the topic of this per se. I'm weaving some of this together because we've got Mercury, we've still got Uranus, we've got Venus, and we've got some Neptune energy in there. And we've got the end of Scorpio, the beginning of some very watery energy here. So what this video is about is about being a star-crossed lover. Do you feel like you've been a star-crossed lover? There may be a reason for it. This is uh, energy that's particularly helpful, though, for people that would identify as star seeds. Or if you feel that Earth really isn't your original home, that you feel that you have some point of origin somewhere, somewhere else, you're not really from here. Um, this is going to be some strange energy for you, but like those blessings in disguise, it's ultimately helpful for you. Because this will, yes, it will tend to bring up more cosmic deep and baffling things up to light. So as we head towards this full moon here in November, it will be to bring things up to light. But the primary areas it's going to focus on is going to be your house of money and love. Big time. I wrote that. I didn't write it big, but I wrote it big time. And to let you know, the light body must be ready so that the love can flow in. So that is what I teach about. I know people don't like to hear it. You would like to resolve something with just one thing. But you are a beautiful, multifaceted, multidimensional being that has two of you connected, and it's a little bit complicated, okay? The complications, to a degree, have been disentangling. So that brings me to another point. If you're starting to, or let's put it this way, if you're continuing to live karmically while we've ended karma, okay, you're not just going to have a tower moment, but there really just is nothing to support it anymore. Okay, so you'll find that things go... How do I know this? Well, I know it. I know it because I see it, but I also have lived through it. So every almost everything that I present probably 90% of everything that I present, everything that I write about, everything that I've experienced and I pack it into my tutorials, my ways to do something happen because, number one, I am a Blu-ray. I have those dimensional connections. I am a prototyper of the light body. I have the ninth dimensional connection, which is important for helping people get there. So that is where I am a guide in the new because I help people through your light body, so that the love can flow in. Now, there's several things I've been talking about uh, leading up to this all along. And there have been several things that have been uh, sort of a state of urgency, where it feels like get it done. That was my guidance to tell people. I was guided to tell people, get your stuff done. Some people don't know how to interpret that because they say, well, I've been doing the work. Sometimes the work means changing your situation, but particularly looking at these two areas in your life, the house of money and the house of love. And a lot of people like to do this. You know, they put on those blinders, they want to be an ostrich about it, and they say, no, I can't bear to look at it. It's painful. I understand that. It's hard to look at things, but the only way to get through it is to get through. The only way is really through. And that's no joke, because you actually are masters. You are here at a physical level, which requires that you engage the light body to accomplish things that need to get accomplished. If you don't know how to do that, or if you are arming yourself with all kinds of defenses, that's not going to cut it either. If you are not connecting with your twin flame, and I don't mean in the physical not with a device, because it really won't cut it anymore. And that's why a lot of people will see those communications fall away. You try to text, you try to talk, and it just keeps diminishing. It keeps feeling like somehow the door is closing. 
Why? Because the door is closing on that. We're in this energy where it is most definitely affecting communication, technologies. These devices are insufficient for these large energies. They'll get affected, okay? Don't get angry about it, okay? Don't get fearful about it either. Don't sit there and say, oh, whoa, Nilly, put on your seatbelts. Maybe you have to put on your seatbelts. When it comes to what men want, when it comes to what women want, do you know what men want? Men want love. Do you know what women want? Women want love. It's that simple. However, because of relationship dynamics, it's actually not that simple. So some of you, if you're trying to give directions over device, and you might know already it's not easy to, you know, you could be in a car and you could be giving directions and the person is like, la, 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 I'm not hearing you. It falls on deaf ears. How do you open each other so that you are hearing each other properly with the heart, not the ego. I teach that. We also have several holidays coming up here. This year has flown by. And what I can tell you is, starting from the solstice of this year, the December solstice, things will be very different. And you're going to see shifts in energy again. Next year is going to be very different than this year was. So you had 2015, get ready. 2016, start cracking you open. 2017, start getting used to it being new. 2018, get yourself really accustomed to it and accept and be new. 2019, start living it, okay? I know a lot of you hear, when you hear this, you're hearing, oh, we'll be living together in 2019. You're only going to be living together if you have engaged your light body. If you have not engaged your light body properly, and mind you, there are people who do live together. So from my perspective, I see sort of three segments of people. There are people who may not have met their person yet, but they've very firmly been on the journey. There are people who have met, but they're in some form of separation, and they'll come together. And there are people together they have to start engaging their light body where they can't stay at certain levels anymore. They may think they're at a certain level and they may be enjoying certain levels, a little bit higher level. But this year has been for equalizing, equalizing things between the genders, between the races. And yeah, I know it still has a long way to go, but it's come a long way as well. Just before it came on, I heard a song on the radio. And it's a song that some of you know. And the song is, it's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Oh. Okay, there are more words to that song. However, this speaks to me for lovers who have led sometimes separate lives in separate places, even in separate star systems, overlighting each other. What is your story? Your love story is unique in all of creation. There may be some common things. You have the ability to not go with the rest of the pack. And that's something I'm going to remind you of. So while there's a plethora of information out there, you may sometimes find that it's information overload and it's not giving you the answers that you need. What do you need to do? How is your guidance properly guiding you? Are you lost in this? I will say this, it's, it is important to take breaks from now, now and then. I say that even knowing I do videos and I usually try to do a video. I take breaks. If you ever notice, there's times I don't post a video. I'm on a break, but I'm usually formulating things in between those breaks because yes, it still goes on. Everything that I've talked about is usually something that I have experienced. Other people sometimes have commonalities to the story but nothing is ever exactly the same. 
So if I show you a shoe and you say, yeah, that fits me, you may find that you still need to adjust it to yourself because it's not an exact fit. And that's how some of this is. You are actually having your own light body that clicks to each other. You came here with that connection. There's no mistakes about that. There actually is a plan. You actually do have a plan. So some of the things that I do, and I want to let you know if this is new to you, are you on a twin flame journey? Some of the ways that you know is that things do happen with both of your bodies, your human body and your light body. You sense it. You sense that God has something important for you. You sense that some of this stuff is coming from a divine level, no matter what your religion that you grew up in taught you. You sense something beyond it. And you can sometimes sense your other, your other half. You sometimes look for outside answers, but I'm here to teach people how to get those inside answers, how to get them inside, and how to envelop yourself in your love. That's the key. Getting your higher channels open so that the love is reciprocal and that you feel loved and supported is vital. It's going to be vitally important for next year. And I can tell you that with certainty because I'm already going through it, formatting it, writing it, preparing it for people. That is a part of what I've been tasked with. Now, my own job in this or what I am doing is actually a throwback to the time of Atlantis. And I know that might sound woo-woo. In fact, if my mother heard that, she would probably say, really? I don't know. There was a movie when I was a kid about the priests in Atlantis and the fall of Atlantis. It was fiction. But that's probably the extent of what people may have seen about it. But there are people with real memories of an actual place that was our home. I was one of the teachers there. And we were in the process of teaching. And some of the people we are teaching are now the grown star seeds, the star, what you could call star cross lovers. Your stories of being a star cross lover are coming to a closure and coming to an end. Now, my interest in the light body and the body itself has been there ever since I was a kid. Okay? I didn't know it the way I know it now, of course. And I had to live through things, and yes, I was tested big time before I was capable of doing things at a higher dimensional level. The work for me goes on 24-7, just like for some of you. But some of you have other work and other things that you need to get on with. That's where I come in. I'm here to teach you so that it's concise, so that it's specific, and it gives you the what to do, how to do it, like that. And that you start mastering the masters that you are. So I have some things to help you with that. I have Back to the Beginning, which is in four parts. These, this is an important one from now until the solstice. Also, leaving the fourth dimension. The reason I put these each into several parts, three parts here, four parts here. The reason is there is a lot to cover. There's a lot about leaving an entire dimension behind. I have uh, concurrently going on Love for the Holidays, which you can join until December 9th. It's five Sundays in a row. I've already started on the 11-11. And you can uh, catch up because I will send you whatever recordings you missed. That one is only $30. Now, as we're going into the holidays, I want to let you know about some other things that I'm capable of doing. I do online energetic body work with you from a higher level than just about anybody out there. I know that because it's brand new and I know that from the things that I work on within that night because when I do a session, it continues. It doesn't end just when it ends. It continues to remove things. We are removing things that have happened in these star-crossed places for people. Toxic things, entanglements, things that you may not be capable of doing exactly at the human level, but that, yes, you can benefit from. I do it in person, live in my studio. I have a special session that is for 
the psyche, which assists people that are overcoming addictions, abuses, violence, other things like that. That is a special series of minimum four sessions sequentially, spread out, but sequentially. I am also running a, a special for the holidays, which is a buy one, get one, or a gift certificate. So if you have sometimes wanted a session and you're saying, well, I'm not sure, why don't you ask a relative if they will gift you it or give you, gift you part of it? And, you know, write to me. There are some links below and also on my website. This will help you because your direction is heading into the fifth dimension. You are leaving an entire paradigm behind. Why not make it easy on yourself? So I want to give you an example. Um, there are some people that I work with that they are actually staving off something simply by having some energetic work done. By the time things get to the physical level, and I don't rule out that people go to the doctor, I always tell people, please go to the doctor, get your checkups. But if there's something so physical, it usually will have to be addressed that way. But what if you could avoid something? What if you could lift up to a level of maintenance? That is where I come in. I help you to maintain your channels that bring in your fifth dimensional love, regardless of whether you are together, but also draw you together toward each other and continue those activations going. I am giving you the light codes for the fifth through the ninth dimension of the new. Now, I've heard it referred to as the 144,000 grid, the new earth grid. It is your individual, in other words, your union's individual connection to that new grid of life. Yes, it is. You're bringing the love. You are the living bridge. You and your twin together. So please check out my website, check the links below, because some of this will be very more cosmic, deep, baffling things. Last week, did you feel like somehow your energy dropped? Do you even know what those energy drops are or what to do about it? And it may alarm you, it might scare you. I know that in my webinar we spoke about that. I know what to do about it. Come and see me. Are you struggling with issues between masculine and feminine relationship dynamics and you need to feel on your body, where do you get this shifted? I help with that as well. So a lot of this stuff that, you know, feels like it's maybe undermining you or it might feel like a block. It may not be block. It may be some stuck energy, but I'm here to help you get it moving. And to help you no longer feel like a star-crossed lover. This energy that we are in is also about making changes. It's about noticing yourself. It's about getting acquainted with yourself. And some of you, I'm going to hear you right now saying, Patricia, I'm tired of being by myself. It's lonely. And yes, it's a very fine balance of being by yourself feeling balanced, perhaps not feeling lonely, but feeling alone. And there's a difference between being very lonely. You can be lonely in a room full of people and you can be peaceful when you're alone with yourself because you're at peace with yourself. Which do you want? You want to be at peace. You want peace wherever you go. That peace exists in your heart and with the balance of the masculine and feminine. And this doesn't mean for ladies or females that you have to suddenly, you know, go, you know, get your nails done or whatever someone else's idea of the feminine is. It actually has to do with your light body. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a Divine Masculine webinar where I talk about that. And I have a Divine Feminine webinar where I talk about it. Because you each have both connected in you. You've each been both. You may not really believe it because you haven't seen it. However, there is something to be said about that as well. When you work on your light body, particularly when you work with me and you clear things, you start getting to a level where you do start seeing some of the things that round out the picture for you. It's incumbent on you to do that. However, you have the connections that let you see it and not let you keep seeing the same old things. Healing. 
I am also an intuitive. If you have a session with me, there are things that I intuit about you that we get moving. I also provide you a list of supplements to take uh, that would be helpful for you. It's up to you if you choose to do that. Um, how to work with some other things and breathing. So I highly encourage you, please have a session with me because this will be helpful for getting your channels open. And remember that this is a no bullying zone. Twin flame should be a no bullying zone. No bullying is allowed of anybody. Everything that you have to say is very private. The things I talk about publicly or that I make the dolls talk about are usually, I would say, 90% of things that I have experienced. It's not fun. It's not fun. I'm putting on a smiling face because I've been through it. But if you could see some of the things that have gone on in my house, I've been like really happy that I, that I have been by myself because it's so hard to explain. This stuff is hard to explain to people. They won't get it until next year when they go through it. And you'll be looking at them saying, oh, I remember when that happened. I remember when I was, uh, you know, feeling like the star-crossed lover. And you won't be happy. You won't be, um, you won't be lording it out over them. But you'll, re you'll remember and you'll have forgotten. It will be like giving birth where you're, you'll kind of the pain of it will have diminished. So let's get you through it. And let's help you with that. And when you do that, you will see how much better you can feel. This is an investment in your health or an investment for the future. Because if you, if you get a session, you will also get another session. That's what that's about. So talk to your family. I will be running that for a while. That is my early Black Friday, small business Saturday Uh way of telling you and appreciation. We have a big holiday here, Thanksgiving. I wish everyone a very wonderful Thanksgiving. There are things that I'm very grateful for. I'm grateful to have met so many fabulous, wonderful people, and I've been very honored to hear your love stories. Please don't plot your love story out there on public comments. You wouldn't want that to stay out there for years to come. If you said something that you might regret, your house of money and love should prompt you to take it down. Don't leave it out there, okay? That's what I'll say. Don't leave yourself open for other people to attack you either because that happens. And I don't really allow it. It's a no bullying zone here. I'm grateful for the travel I've made. Uh, out to California recently to uh, meet with some really great people in a great place. I'm grateful for technology that helps people like me who are not techies and who are people persons, I'm a people person, to be able to bring stuff to you, to entertain you, to sing to you. I don't sing because I'm great at it. I sing because I have a song in my heart that needs to get out. I also am grateful for my health, my family that I've been able to fix and mend things with, and there was some big time stuff. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for my son. I'm grateful that we got through some of his stuff, which is why I'm able to talk about Children, so if you are a twin flame parent and you want the what to do about your burgeoning, budding, blossoming twin flame child, you know, it's not enough to say, well, I think they're twin flame. They're going to go through stuff. Come and find out. I'm grateful for so many things. I'm grateful that... We're finally at a level where we can put closure to the star-crossed lives. So that's Thanksgiving, and I probably will talk more about it. So happy Thanksgiving. We're having some other holidays coming up here, and 2019 is fast approaching. So come on and find out about it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful week, 
and check the links below. Thank you. Bye. Bye.